Hi, I'm Bailey. I'm in sixth grade Miss Lee's class, and today I'm going to be re reading The What Ifs by, written by Emily Kilgore and illustrated by Zoe Prisico. <laughs> the, the What Ifs. Cora was a nervous girl, always jumpy, always on edge, always wondering if something something grim was going to happen because of the what ifs loved her. I like the little what ifs, the green one, the, the, the one's invisible. Heavy, lumpy, and grumpy, the what ifs are everywhere in bright rooms and dark corners in busy hallways and hushed libraries. In big cities and small towns, they slick in from unknown places and swiftly attach themselves to people who least expect it. That one looks like a bee, mixed with like a butterfly with a really long nose. Then they whisper a question so quietly, so softly, so gently, that the person usually doesn't know the what ifs are there at all. That one looks like a dog with like axolotl ears. From the moment the sun ro first peeked through her window in the morning to the time she pulled a warm quilt over her head at night, Cora's what ifs followed her every move. What if my dog runs away? What if I forget my homework? What if the sun starts sh stops shining? What if my crayon breaks? Many people think about their what ifs for a moment or two, but can briskly brush them off. Cora, though, could not. I, it didn't matter if the what ifs questions were silly or frightening, likely or impossible. As soon as Cora thought about them, the what ifs grabbed her hold of her. One week, one week, Cora had more what ifs than usual. Her piano recital was just days away. Even though she had practiced and perfect her song, the what ifs started creeping in. What if my fingers shake, Cora questioned on Monday. What if I make a mistake, Cora wondered on Tuesday. What if nobody comes, Cora thought on Wednesday. What if too many people come, she wondered, she worried on Thursday. By the day of her recital, the weight of the what ifs felt unbearable. Cora, Cora stood backstage, anxiously awaiting her turn to perform. The longer she waited, the more what ifs appeared. Each one grabbed hold and weighed her down more than the last. What if I trip on stage? What if my bench is too tall? What if the pedals are squeaky? What if I start coughing? What if I play the wrong note? What if nobody claps? Cora, a small voice whispered, are you all right? Oh, great, Cora thought. What if Stella thinks I'm a crybaby? What if she doesn't understand? It's nothing w was all Cora could muster before a tiny sob escaped that her thinly pressed lips. It doesn't sound like any nothing, Stella said. Cora took a deep breath and said in a hushed voice, I, I, I just, I just have too many what ifs. They make me imagine bad things that could happen, like what if I mess up or what if I sneeze during my song? Everybody gets what ifs, Cora. Just a minute ago, I, I asked myself, what if Cora's sad and I can help? Listening to Stella, Cora started to wonder, what if she can help me? What if I can trust her? I wish mine were like that. My what ifs are grim, Cora looked down. Do you ever have good, uh, good what ifs, Stella asked? I don't know. There were good ones, Cora whispered. Of course there are, Stella said. Like, what if there's chocolate cake after a recital? Or what if I play better than ever, Cora chim chim chimmed in, peering at the boy pounding his piece on the piano. Cora suddenly felt her what ifs begin to change. Their he the heavy, lumpy, and grumpy what ifs slowly slunk away while new ones arrived in their place. It's a rainbow. Oh, that one looks more like a dog. That one looks like a wiener dog. Oh, this little piano. Just then, the teacher announced it was Cora's turn. She walked out to the piano without tripping. The bench was just the right height. 
Her hands quivered as they hovered over the keys, but then she sat down and began to play, and the grim would have slowly continued to disappear until... Clunk! She hit the wrong note. Oh no, what if everybody laughs at me? What if I get booed off the stage? Cora wanted to cry. She tried to ignore the people staring, waited for her next move, then out the corner of her eye, Cora saw Stella. What if I can do this? She asked her. Asked herself. Cora took a deep breath and started to play again with confidence. Her fingers danced across the keys. When we finished, the room filled with applause. Cora took her bow and smiled at Stella. She couldn't help but wonder, what if I made a new friend today? Now the teacher has good letters. Thought that was a good book because my class, they, they like say what ifs a lot like, what if this happens or what if that happens? And I thought it was a good book to show them that there's good what ifs. Like, what if I can? Or like in the book it said, what if I make a new friend today? So that was the what ifs. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.